I'll be fine. Okay. Day, day bow, bow, day bow, bow. Day bow, bow. Day bow, day bow. bow. <laughs> Coco's like, what, what the, the hell? Fuck? <laughs> you have no idea what I've been through today. Oh fuck! You have no fucking clue. Should I... we should we lead with this or should we address the allegations? What are the allegations? <laughs> no, we didn't. No, we didn't talk about um, what's it called? San Junipero. <laughs> that much. I just it's, um. It's I, just not our thing. It's just it's, not our thing. Yeah. There was multiple people that said something about yeah. it. And you know, understandable, completely understandable. Just that's not what we watch the show for. I don't think. Um, we're just not into like nice me- media. We like media where there's like tragedy of biblical proportions, and yeah. the more Shakespearean and biblical it can get, and more wrath of the gods it can get, the more that we like it. So <laughs> we're not really into people being happy and being in love and. Uh, I'm so scared that my cat jumped out the window because she's not around. She's fine. And she's been sniffing around the window. And she's it's like not jumped out the window. I don't think. You don't think? Well, the screen would be like... It would be fucked yeah, up. It yeah, it's fine. fine. But yeah, we didn't judge that list based on like importance to the series or like cultural impact. It was just so, like our dumbass opinion. Yeah, That's yeah. wrong. So you don't have to agree. But I think nosedive people agree with. Yeah. So. Like, online consensus, yeah. that's, like, the best episode. So. But Liberty anyway, had a rough day, to say the least. I. Well, this has been the second rough day uh, of kind of <laughs> similar proportions. I. Okay, like, literally, I am not exaggerating or anything. I. So, I haven't been to the dentist in probably, like, three years. Because now I have to pay for my own dentist. And I got accepted into like this dental school program where like I'm like in it. This dental school yeah. person is. The students. The get students to, are operating like, me. Yeah. So I've never had a problem with the dentist before. My teeth are insanely fucked up, but I've never had like anxiety. I'm just like, just deal with it. Like it sucks, but I'm not, I don't have anxiety, whatever. Yeah. The last time I went there, like two times ago, I fucking barf everywhere because <laughs> there's this dental dam in my throat and like i'm telling him like i need a minute i feel like i'm getting waterboarded i feel like i'm getting tortured to death i literally <laughs> like it was so fun and i'm like don't throw up don't throw up worst case scenario because i'm so i'm i hate being vulnerable so much yeah and the it- idea of throwing up literally gives me like <laughs> i was like sitting there, like you cannot fucking throw up like just deal with it like I was thinking of shit in my head, like trying to distract myself, and I fucking barfed avocado toast at my dentist. Green barf. Green well, cartoon fucking barf. Let's start from the top. Like, what? What did they like? What's the vibe of your dentist? And like, it's not like you were getting like a crazy thing done. It was just cavity fillings. So why did they need the dam? I don't. I don't. So I don't know if I've ever had that. It's like I guess it's like the the best newest thing to do is to use a dam, right? But I didn't think that I had a problem with it, and he put it on me, and I was like, fine. And then it was like twenty minutes in, my mouth starts filling up with saliva, and I start like every time I my tongue touches this fucking dam, I'm gonna throw up, and it's like my I can f- literally my stomach starts tingling because like all of my fucking contents of my stomach are my throat, like I can feel Holy it, shit. like you know when your stomach like it drops on a roller coaster it was dropping upwards and i'm like oh fuck and my teeth are so small my mouth is so small that like i had to be leaned basically that way it's like i was leaned all the way down so my head was kind of lower than my feet because he has to really get in there so i'm just actually getting medieval torture uh, yeah and then you're yeah it is like medieval it's like like it was so fucked up (laughs) medieval torture device but then then you're getting waterboarded by your own uh vomit (laughs) (laughs) and then so today i go into the dentist and i'm like yeah i'm not fucking barfing it's not happening again it's not happening again i'm not gonna barf again and he said like oh we won't use we won't use the dam we'll use something else and he kind of was a really good trooper about it like he was really uh, he was a good sport if that were me he didn't like get scared i would never talk to me again 
Yeah, I'd be scared. I would ghost my He almost did. To be fair, though. He literally almost did. I didn't get a text from him. (laughs) So I was like... Well, okay. Well, here's the thing. Oh, my God. He's texting me, and I'm pretending to be Liberty. Because because my phone won't fucking send messages to his number. I don't know what's going on. uh, I'm, like, blocked or something. It won't work. She only has iMessage for some reason, so... Like, I can make phone calls, but I only have iMessage. And last time I tried to fix this, my phone got stolen. My phone number, my SIM card. Your eSIM got stolen. Yeah, so... And, yeah, they tried to steal your entire, um, your entire plan. Are you looking for Mochi? Yeah, where did she go? Mochi! I know the trick. Oh, this is under the table. Hold on. <laughs> so anyway... Hold on, guys. I'm just gonna... It, while you while you try to get her, because she's really pissing me off that I can't find her. I'm like thinking that... When you have a baby cat, it's like I every single... Every single day I'm just thinking about where is she? And is she okay? Uh, yeah, well now I'm thinking about where is she? <laughs> <laughs> Mochi. Mochi. Baby. Mochi. She could not have gone out that window, though. It's she not was, even possible. She was sniffing around it. Well, she went down, right? Yeah, but... If I get the treat bag, she'll come. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's our baby. <laughs> she came from this direction, so I don't so, know where she was. Okay, I feel better now. I'll be able to be relaxed. Okay, so... Here, wait, wait, wait. She'll come on camera. Hold on, hold on. She... Don't excuse like the way that that thing looks. It's literally the most d- demented, this, like yeah. diabolical looking fucking rat. Coco has chewed this too. <laughs> but they love it. Shreds. They literally love it so much. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. This is riveting. We podcast actually bought content. different like string head things, but they don't fit this. This doesn't detach anything. So it's a one trick pony. Yeah. She's okay, not, gonna she's not up, coming up. But at least apparently. I know where she is. So. I, today, I go again to get my last cavity filled out of two cavities. First time I barfed everywhere. Avocado toast barf. I go in today dead set on not barfing. I'm like, I'm not going to fucking barf. And I'm going to be strong. And I have like all these mental things I'm preparing to think about to distract myself that I've been kind of like saving to think about. Like scenarios and shit. So I'm so prepared for this. Well, right? I, I just cannot fathom that they decided hey let's just try the same thing again no this is what i need to tell you what happened like so, what is the context of that like i walk in and i'm like i yay yeah, yeah, they're not going to use the dental dental yeah. <laughs> yay yippee i'm not going to embarrass yippee, myself normal i'm normal yeah. i'm normal and i can okay so they <laughs> so i'm getting my blood pump thing done like the the bp and every single time he asked me did you just run? Because my anxiety is so fucking bad. I have the worst blood pressure. So he literally is always has to call the main, the main dentist in that like the professor to ask if it's okay to do work on me because my blood pressure is so fucking high. Actually, the same thing happens to me because I don't like the, <laughs> the ambiance. Yeah. Like the, the vibe affects me and I get like, yeah. my heart goes really fast. And they always tell me like, um, Okay, uh, just breathe. Just deep, just deep breaths, deep breaths. And I'm like, I've been doing that. Trust me. <laughs> and I, I, I always say, oh, I just drank like three cups of coffee. Don't, yeah, don't even. Don't worry mind about me. It. I just don't drank even a cup worry of coffee. About that. And you're having like anxiety farts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that is. That was happening to me, and it happens to me every time. And so he calls the main guy in per usual. And he also gives him a rundown of how he's not going to use it. I can hear them talking. They think that they're being quiet or something. He's saying, oh, she threw up last time we used the dam. Yeah. I'm going to use, I'm not going to use the dam this time. And the, denti- and the dentist, go, the other guy goes, no, you should use it. There's probably an issue with the patient. And I'm like... I'm listening to this. I'm like, the customer is always right. Yeah, literally, I'm a customer. <laughs> like, I'm a paying fucking customer. So Jesus he's like, Christ. Usually with mouth breathers, there's an issue because they can't breathe out of their mouth. So he's talk. He's saying that to this guy, and he thinks I can hear him. Then he goes over to me and he starts looking at me. He's really nice, but he's like starts looking at he's me. He's trying to gauge. He's trying to gauge if I'm breather. a mouth breather. And he's Holy like, Holy shit! And like my mouth is closed, and I'm looking at him, and he's like. 
well, she doesn't really like look like she breathes out of her mouth. And then I like try to talk and I open my lips a little bit and he goes, oh yeah. See, uh, she does breathe out of her Are you mouth. kidding me? <laughs> yes. Wait, are you actually so kidding me that happened? Not only happened? did he victim blame me, but he said I'm a mouth breather. <laughs> Holy fuck. And I've been getting really bad uh, like insecurity about mouth breathing because I right now, I don't know what's going on when I'm working. I start mouth breathing and it's like, I know that it's bad. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck, I'm a mouth breather now. Great so embarrassing like so he says you're not though i don't think you are well because like denial's not just a river and you don't sleep like that and it's like you wouldn't know i we're I, sleeping we I sleep in separate know. bedrooms because yeah we save sex for marriage mm -hmm. that's true because we're lit we are very catholic we are very very catholic born and born and grown i sleep in the area where bread. there's already a nursery ready so it's like the nursery women uh, room quarters. And he sleeps next to like a toolbox it's, yeah, it's actually, and a rocking chair that he's working on for the baby. It's actually more of like an expanded like closet. Kind of like. Yeah. A, so to keep me Like humble. minimalist, yeah. like tiny. Yeah. Keep you humble. Like. And then I have. Yeah. Obviously the master. Yeah. Uh, he has the bedroom. master. There is a conjoined <laughs> bathroom. There's a boy cave. You know. Yeah. Uh, he keeps. Beer dungeon. Uh, is there a woman in there like trapped in a cage? maybe that's just what men do <laughs> you gotta let it get get them out somewhere so oh my god there's something in my pocket you got goodies in there what, ah, you got? what is it mystery pocket mystery pocket unboxing oh my god <laughs> unboxing oh my god oh chapstick no. that definitely went through the wash yeah, oh definitely. you're gonna use it oh yeah <laughs> mm, nice i need that my so chapstick <laughs> Okay, fine. No, I don't care. I don't care. It's sitting here for you. I don't care. I'm just kidding. Oh, you're just kidding? That's new. Um. So anyway. So dentist. I'm like fighting off the mouth breather allegations. So I say, oh, maybe that's it. Yeah, like I guess I'll just breathe that in my nose. And he's like, good job. We're going to, we're going to. Good job. Yeah, because he, because he literally refuses to let this other dentist give me the other way to do it. So he's like, okay, we're going to do the dam. Just make sure to really breathe out of your nose. So I want this he to said, work. He said, stupid woman. He said, it's probably you, your fault. You're a dumb woman and you don't know that you threw up. It's you actually, it's actually your fault because you're a disgusting oh mouth breather. God. That's what's going on. So you victim blame me. I'm like feeling like total shit. And then they put the dam on and I'm really trying to make this nose breathing thing work. I'm really trying my hardest. And sure enough, I'm breathing so fucking heavy through my nose trying to not throw up. Like I'm like, Oh my God, like do not throw up. And then I start sweating and I can tell that's when it starts. Cause last time it started like that, I started sweating and my entire crew neck was wet in the back and oh, my shit. feet were wet. And I'm like, Oh my God, I'm going to barf again. I'm going to barf again. So I'm breathing through my nose and I'm, I last longer this time. I get about two yeah. hours in because these appointments are fucking four hours because it's a training appointment. So like they really take They're their time. They're training young dentists. And by the end of it, my numbing is completely gone. Dentist so, like... apprentices. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I think, I, you know what? I deserve a round of applause for that one. No, I don't think anyone's going to get that. Except for you. They'll get it. Because it's not anything to get. It's just rhymes. I thought you were talk talking about the Nirvana song based on the book. That scentless apprentice. Yeah, I thought you were making that joke. They're dentist apprentices. Apprentices. <laughs> okay, we're not going to dwell on this. <laughs> <laughs> you dwell on stuff, I say. Okay, so... That's not that interesting. So, um, I'm, I'm literally today... This is today... I'm sitting in the dentist chair, fucking sweating, and I can feel my stomach contents coming up. And I say, please, God. And I'm and I'm literally, because I've had my mouth open for like an hour or two hours at this point. My jaw is fucking done. Like I'm literally, it's hurting so bad. And I start gaining empathy. Like I literally start being like, <laughs> people go through so much pain and suffering in this world. I'm Holy going shit. through this pain and suffering. Like, can I get through it? I don't know. And I'm like... I'm gaining empathy and I'm gaining an awareness of other people's suffering. That's how bad it's hurting. You're and connecting how much I to need, the yes. universal unconscious. And how much I need to throw up and how much I'm sucking it in. And I'm like, and I can't breathe. And he's giving me this suction thing to like put under the dam into my mouth. And I. <laughs> what? Wait, what? 
What is that? So, you know the thing that sucks out the, the water? Straw? Yeah, the yeah. straw. He gave me it to hold, which my arm is I hate holding killing me. My arm is killing me. I just want to go to sleep. I'm also so you tired. You don't have, well, I told you last time, you don't have to hold the straw up. You can just rest your hand well, with the, the straw. Well, the thing, I'm too, like, I'm too fat for the chair a little bit, so my arm goes off the side. That's so. not a right yeah. chair. <laughs> At my dentist, they it's have like, like it's like a luxury facility. recliner. You're like, oh yeah. It's like an organ donation facility where I'm getting like literally, it's insane. Yeah. There's like 40 people. In you the got room. back alley dentist. Yeah, I have a back alley dentist right now. So I'm my arm's killing me, and I'm trying to throw up, and I'm mentally focusing on the unconscious suffering of humanity because <laughs> I'm like actually going through it so much, and I'm gaining empathy, and I'm thinking everything's temporary. Like just get through it. And then I'm so tired from all of this going on, I start falling asleep. Like I like like oh. my eyes start I start passing out a little bit. I don't know what happened, but I kept like going. I kept like falling asleep, and then my jaw would move, and this contraption would just like fall off. So he had to like keep putting it back in, and I would jolt awake. And I was holding the straw. <laughs> Holy shit! And then that's intense. This the contraption. He was spraying water on top of it and it was going into my throat. So I had to use the straw underneath the contraption to suck out the water. But I would get it into my throat because there's not much room. And I would suck on my fucking uvula and start fucking gagging, throwing up. <laughs> oh my God. So this is the worst. And then I, I have an epiphany. I'm like, I shouldn't be in suffering this much. This is the dentist. I should not. No. Be. So I say, I go like this and I'm like, uh-uh. I, I need this out of my mouth. I'm going to yeah. throw up. So I, I'm i like, I I literally can feel myself throwing up. I'm like, and, he, and he's getting it as fast as possible because he's traumatized from the last Oh, time. my God. He's like, oh, my he's God. Like, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, I better go fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, please. And then I'm like sitting up and he's not done taking off. I'm just sitting up and I'm like trying to put it off. <laughs> and I'm sitting up and I'm like, and I'm like, I'm, I'm nose breathing. He hands me this little ass fucking cup. He hands me this cup that's like... No, me. not yeah. the cups again. The littlest cup. No, last time, apparently, they gave her the little spit cups to throw up in. He, so that's He gives great. me one of those and no tissue. Is there not a sink in there? There is and a garbage. I'm like, can you let me go? Like, I can go throw up in the garbage. He oh would rather God. have you give him a cup of vomit. That he has to hold. And, and then give the you room. another empty one. And then you just keep so, letting it loose or what? I don't I, understand. I'm up. He, the things out of my mouth, he kind of stands back <laughs> and I throw up and my mouth is full of fart, throw up like, a, like I literally like I, my mouth is full and then I swallow it and then I throw Ew. up again. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy fuck. Cause I don't want to fucking throw up. I do not want to. So I swallow it out of sheer will and then my body does it again. <laughs> so he And it's to. avocado toast again. No, this time it's donut. Okay. And avocado toast. Yeah. Well, and popcorn. Yeah, and pop no, this th this story gets actually trigger warning disgusting. So he hands me one spit cup. I spit half of it into one and it's warm in my hand and it's disgusting. And I'm like, can I get another one, please? And a napkin, please. Because I'm like this suffering. This is truly <laughs> horrific. And then this he gives me another one and I throw up and I finish it. There's two full spit cups of total disgusting throw up. And I hate I hate it. I almost have Emma to whatever that phobia is where I don't want to throw up. I almost have that, I think, because I'm starting to get really anxious. Then I kind of like wrap it so it's OK to carry because he literally won't let me because he doesn't let me get out of my seat. So I'm like, um, I fuck? can throw this away if you want. And he says, he's like, no, it's completely fine. And what? then he is He'd holding carry my, your my warm fucking vomit in a spig. He'd rather carry it. And I'm like. He's like, mm, barf. Like this, he's so Take much stronger than Take me. Take a sip of that, Jang. He's literally like a mortician or something. Because what the... No, that's not I, even I'm the starting worst part. to think that's not... That's like... A back that's alley. some strange like aliens experiment on humans. Human, yeah, for like, sure. It's not real people. Because if that were me, I'd be it. like, what the fuck? Go to the bathroom and fucking throw up if you need yeah, to. Yeah, there's a sink. When I like... Uh, you know... It, Oh my god, I'm just blown away by that. Holy shit. And then we get like, even after yeah. they do the cleaning, like sometimes <laughs> I'll go spit in the sink because I don't want to swallow like the gross 
you know. Oh, I'm swallowing all stuff. of it. Ew. And the tooth chunks from shaving the, off my yeah. tooth, that is, I think that's a part of it too. No, that does make you nauseous. Yeah, like, because he's shaving off my tooth and the chunks are just blowing into my throat. And it's cavity tooth. And it's cavity tooth chunks. Holy shit. So. How did they get this filling in, though? They have to basically restrain me to the thing because I start getting up. I'm like, I'm done now. I'm done now. He's like, oh, five more minutes, five more minutes. I'm like, I'm literally done. Like, I literally can't. Can we do it another time? So he he takes, I throw up. He lets me swish around and swallow it. Why he didn't let me go to the sink is fucking beyond me. So he's like, okay, five more minutes. I'm like, oh, my fucking God. So he puts this new country. He, he literally finds popcorn kernels that he has to flick off of his instruments because i ate popcorn today <laughs> oh and my then God. he puts this new contraption in my mouth that's plastic and it's like a plastic wind blower that i have to bite down on that's too it's big what? it's like it's like a green plastic thing that blows wind because i guess the cavity needs to be dry to put that filling in right so it's blowing cold fucking wind at my tooth and at the whole back of my jaw and my teeth are completely on them and this like, is just another kind this of is dam. three hours in and this is just another kind of another dam. kind of dam that's sh going down the back of my throat right i'm at my wits end and i feel like i'm getting this is the point where i, I literally felt like i was getting tortured to death no this is not right liberty <laughs> this is like I, three hours let in, me by tell the way. you i've never like i've had like the last time I went to the dentist, I had like 10 cavities filled in one day because I was, you know, I was coming back here like so I couldn't like and obviously I don't go to the dentist up here. I go in the States, but it's like I just cannot <laughs> Three fathom. Three hours, one cavity. I cannot fathom how it took so long, how it they used they needed a dam for that even in the first place. I get to instruct people, but like. Were there that many people that needed to see the entirety no, of your mouth? There's and one throat? dentist there, but it's like we're in an office building with like 40 chairs and little cubicles, and I'm in one alien cubicle. But I can hear another Holy dentist fuck. talking to another person. So I can literally hear okay. other dentists, yeah, and I can hear aliens. other drilling. It's completely aliens. Like, <laughs> it's not real. And then when this Holy wind fuck. contraption is blowing in the back of my throat, I literally start panicking because i want to leave so bad and i feel like i'm actually getting like assaulted like you know like f not like just physically like i literally feel like i'm getting tortured to, to death and i'm gonna die because the wind the shit in the back of my throat there's like plastic in the back of my throat and i and i he starts to see me like my jaw has been open for so long that when i when i get a break when he leaves a little bit it doesn't close smoothly it closes like a lock jaw like it closes like Holy Because it's like my my jaw's been open for so long. When I close it, it like snaps closed instead of smooth. Because my muscles no, so tired. that's probably not good for your like mouth. It probably puts a lot of strain. Like, it's awful. Holy fuck. And then he's like, okay, two more minutes, two more minutes. And then it's done. He did a good. He did the best with what he could have done. He didn't do a bad job, but like I got literally Russian sleep I experimented he, today. I don't think he did a good job. <laughs> I think that I yeah, think I mean, after if your last was time, throwing up, I don't care like, who says no. Just just try it again. If someone throws up on me, I'm not doing the same sequence of events over again. I'm sorry. Like I just don't even understand that. The like it's actual like insanity. The professional dentist said that my filling was beautiful though, so I'm beautiful. Wow, you're beautiful. At least you're beautiful. You are beautiful in every single way. At least he got the filling good. He better have. I swear to God. He After said, all that shit, he, he fucking better have. He said the other one have. is at risk of, of popping out because I threw up. So what do we need to do about that? Go back? I don't know. I don't know. If it pops out, I go back. I'm a patient there, so. Okay. I don't want you to take you back. Here's the Moment thing, too. For life. This dentist is like at the college campus up here, so it's like a we're quick at the 45 opposite, minutes away. We're at the opposite side of the city, so it's not like I'm gonna just go home. Like if it's an hour, you know, it's not even worth. It's never been an hour yet, but in theory, if it was an hour, it's not worth going home. So, actually, the time you threw up. At the dentist, I got stuck in a parking garage. 
Um, well, actually, I got my car locked in there because, okay, there's a parking garage underneath this J.J. Bean coffee shop. JJ and I'm Bean trying to get like, this coffee, right? We call it Bay Bay Jean. It's a coffee shop local to Vancouver. Yeah. It, sla- it slays and, it it's, and it, it's, give- it's giving pussy. It's giving... <laughs> So I'm following okay. this car that I think is going into the the, the coffee shop parking, and I get. Like, you would do that. You would blindly. Follow I just a go car, straight though. into this like garage, and then I start seeing signs that's like, "Oh, tow away, severely enforced." And I'm like, "Where the fuck am I? This you, is for coffee, right?" You were probably waiting for the tow truck at the end. There, you're like, "Please go <laughs> yeah. me away." I called them. Okay, <laughs> I did at one point call the tow truck. Okay, so then. I'm coming out. I'm like, I'm thinking something's weird at this point, but I'm like, you know what? It, it, everything's probably fine. I, I'll be in and out. I'm just going to get a coffee to go. Um, and then, you know, Normal read, guy. read in the car or, you know, whatever. And then I come out and I'm like, okay, this is weird. It's like, it seems to be, I come out to like a set of elevators and I'm like, wait, am I in a fucking apartment building? And so then I, I'm like, oh, I better go outside and check. So I go outside and sure enough, I'm at some weird like apartment building that's connected to the coffee shop. The coffee shop's on like the ground floor. But by that point, the door has shut and now I am locked out of the garage that has my car in it. And there's no like, way for me to get in. And it's not like a casual garage. It's like a big, huge gate. You cannot get through garage. Isn't it like a bunch of bars and not like just like a normal? Yeah. Like you're not getting through there. Yeah. It was like one of those, you, you, they have like the sensors, the buzzer things that like, yeah, it's the bars on the garage and like the doors are like metal. You can't get those. <laughs> so I'm fucked essentially. And it's like 30 degrees. It's like the middle of January. So I'm freezing my ass off in the cold. Yeah, it's literally like 30. It's 25, 30 degrees and windy. And at this point, I'm like, well, fuck. I can't even go get a coffee because I got to wait here in case someone comes to the door so I can run in and get get in to get See, my car out. if that were me, I would have said, fuck it. I'm going to go get a coffee and sit here because what? Like I'm going to be here for 20 minutes. Like I would have got, got a coffee. No, but if I went away... I would be out of view of the entrance to this building or the entrance to the garage. So I wouldn't see if I could get out. So I'm waiting there in the cold and I'm like, somebody help me. I'm waiting. All these college students are walking around. I'm like, somebody's got to live here. I'm in the middle of like, and there's construction going on. It's really fucking loud. These workers are looking at me weird because I look sketchy. Like, what is this random guy doing skulking around? I'm like pacing around this building. <laughs> and so I'm like, what the fuck do I do? So I start asking people, oh, do you live here? You no. start asking people if they lived there? I have no hope at this point. And I'm like, what if you're done? And I would then literally call the cops if someone my... asked me, do I live here? I'd be like, there's somebody trying to scope me out right now <laughs> no i just like i was explaining the situation and then that, that sounds didn't like it like a scam that like you yeah someone it does would fall they for were and they get human traffic no this poor hey. like this poor like uh, this yeah i started asking random people i asked this asian family that like yeah they were definitely sketched out by me it was not good at that point so that's when I realized I'm like, okay, we need drastic measures. <laughs> that's been the so, second time an Asian family yeah. looked at us and been scared because we're being. Weird oh my god! Yeah, it's callback. The fucking uh, when we <laughs> when we tore up the fucking San Francisco garage, but um, yeah, another parking garage situation. <laughs> so then I'm calling the it's tow like truck they're, company. They're well adjusted and normal, yeah. and it's like I'm never well adjusted and normal in public, yeah. and it's really they have everything cute and clean and nice, everything and looks, we're like scrunkly. And we go know. we go into like Daiso, and we're like, I cannot believe that people live like this with like it's dialed in, yeah, sponge is dialed cute, in. dialed in, yeah. sponge holder cute, house is clean, adorable, and adorable literally gadgets. When you grow up in Florida with only white people, it's like yeah, it just does it up there. Yeah. And it's like, such it's a literally, yeah. it's like you don't, you, it's like a whole new world it's open up to you. complete opposite. So, yeah. of course that happens to us. Yeah. I've choked on a piece of plastic in minute rice. Like, that was, yeah. <laughs> I had never had, like, I had never made rice or had a rice cooker or anything. And <laughs> I never had a rice cooker, just a pot. 
Yeah. Well, that's how <laughs> you got to do it. We I need to get that. one. We need we to gotta get, get one. We got to get one, but we do cook rice in a pot. It's mid. But so the tow truck company is no help. They essentially tell me like, oh, yeah. Um, it's like my farts and nuts. <laughs> yeah, they're like, <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. I can't help you. What if you say, hey, we wah, we wah, I'm parked illegally. Come get me. No, I just said, hey, I accidentally pulled into this garage underneath a coffee shop and no, now no, no. my car's stuck. You got to say, hey, I'm come parked illegally. I don't come like that <laughs> that when you're doing that. I don't like that voice, whatever that is. Oh, that's fine. Come on, baby. Come on, park. I'm not going to talk to the man like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's disrespectful. Come on, get me. So, I'm parked so illegally and I'm bad. <laughs> they towed us from our neighborhood for no reason. They said, oh, yeah, like, where are you? And, and they said, oh, yeah, we don't have access to any of the garages. We just come if somebody calls and lets us in. And I'm like, oh, dear God, what the fuck do I do? That's an insane business model that you just call like Bat. That's like Batman. Yeah, Batman. No, and they no show power. Up. They're they in just, the area. They just enforce for the fact. They're like, nearest unit, dispatch. Yeah. But. That's so, so fucked up. Here it gets, it just gets worse. So now there's no other way into the building other than the people with the little like, uh, the little key fobs that open the doors and the garage or this like touchscreen directory in front of the garage in front of these huge garage doors <laughs> right next to it is this little touchscreen with like oh you can call and be let in i would have so i'm smashing. like this is my last resort <laughs> Smash. and i hit the first name it's like i forget what her name was danielle. it was like jade or something i hit it i think you said danielle yeah i don't know at this point but i hit it and I'm like scared because what if they pick up and they're like, who are you? And I have to explain this situation to a random person that's probably just chilling in their apartment. I didn't know that it was a person in their apartment. No, it calls a person and they can answer or hit a button and let and it's the probably person a video in. Of or you just too. hang up and not let them in. There's probably yeah, a video. There was you. a camera on there. <gasps> so too. they can see you there. I don't know how they would have, but yeah, I don't know. So thank God they didn't answer. They just hit the button to let me in or whatever. Because the doors started opening. And I'm like, Eureka, yippee! And I'm like, I'm actually so cold at this point. Like, I can't feel my hands. So thank God I fucking got in there. Because I was like, I had to keep them in my, like, pockets. And I was, like, cold hitting the buttons and stuff. And That's horrific. I was so happy to get in there. We've had oh. nothing but bad experiences. Because I left the gloves see. in the car. Yeah, unfortunately. But, but then it's not over. Because guess what? The door doesn't open automatically when you pull your car up to it. So I'm now I'm stuck with my, in my car. I'm stuck at this garage. That's door a better experience from the inside. Though. That's better. It is better because I'm in the warm yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. And I can chill and wait for somebody. Uh huh. This it's already been like an hour and a half at this point. I swear to God. And it's another thirty minutes before another random car finally leaves the garage, pulls up behind me. Thank God. And they must think I'm really fucking weird for just sitting in front of the door. And they're like, <laughs> and thankfully, because I was in front of the key fob thing too. So thankfully they had a button they could hit that just opened the door. Because uh, so, I'm like, I'm free. I'm I, finally free. And, like, and I never saw that person. I never saw their face. I never got to thank them. But like, give them a kiss. I was so, I was so grateful at that point. One thing like about and our car too and is that's the story it looks so dumb when you're sitting oh there my god nothing. Like, it's it missing looks, a handle it, it looks so stupid and like <laughs> they're probably like who the it's fuck it's missing is this a handle there's a chunk missing off of like where the antenna is it's like fucked but um and the windows <laughs> don't roll down we had a like construction worker guy yell at us today for pulling trying for to pull into driving this, around trying to pull into a garage um he was so mean. He was so mean for no reason. I was so and I'm like, though by him. And he's he's like banging, pretty much essentially banging on the window. And I just have to open it slightly and said, I can't. I, <laughs> I said, I can't roll my window down. So No, but Shane, for some reason. And he says, no, all right, we need to talk about you this. Need to get, we're going to back you out of here. All right, buddy. You, We need to talk about how you put on like your construction man voice when you talk to him. We were talking and Shane was like. <laughs> What do you mean? We were talking and you were like, 
And then the construction guy talked to you and went, yeah. Yeah, I'll take a, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I and dialed like, in. Why are you locking in? From I the dialed in the man. You literally yeah. locked in. <laughs> You're like, actually, um, I think because, and then he opens and he talks to you and you start getting like. No, because uh, at first I'm like, and then I have to open the door and say, the said, window doesn't roll down. You said, I got you, baby. <laughs> No, he was mad. I didn't say another word to him. He was fucking so mad. He was so pissed. I thought that we ran over his dog. I know. I was so scared we <laughs> ran over like, someone. <laughs> I know. Like, I don't know what his like, problem ah. was. He was like, damn liberals in my city. Oh, my God. We saw a truck today that literally had on the back. Oh, my God. It was like, okay. He couldn't even see out the back of his fucking car. You could not possibly see out of your rear view out of what's behind you because it was just like completely filled with this monologue about in papyrus made i add yeah about <laughs> vaccines uh fuck uh fuck what's his name trudeau fuck trudeau <laughs> um covid was a social covid was not a pandemic it was an iq test is what it said in one what of the things. does that actually mean though like i don't know what okay it means. i was saying i'm though, trying i'm still i I'm didn't pass still, the iq test <laughs> i don't pass a lot of tests I got a 12% once on statistics in high school. Nice. Okay. But I was telling Shane this and I, I, I think it's a valid thing. It's like, even if I genuinely from the bottom of my heart thought that the vaccine was nanobots, like if I genuinely thought that I still would not put that shit on my car because it makes every single place that you go like in an inflammatory thing and you're just a weird guy like everywhere you go you're like the weird guy with a fucking quote he got custom ordered to put in his car and what if you get pulled <laughs> over by like a fed and you're saying like fuck the president essentially like that's no not one cares about good. that the people do care about that no republicans are, like are the feds in canada bureaucracy. and they don't like trudeau okay well, I know cops are Republican. I'm just saying, and I know they don't like Trudeau. Uh, cool I'm fact. just saying, like, <laughs> cool. in in America, if someone had a fuck Trump thing on their car or a Black Lives Matter, they'd be like, you'd be getting arrested, essentially. No, yeah. actually, in our hometown, people used to put um, police badges on the back of their car to not get pulled over. Or uh, Blue Lives Matter It stickers. absolutely worked, too. Yeah. It worked. I had a Bernie sticker, and I got pulled over and almost arrested because yeah. I didn't yeah. know. It's don't do it the other way. Just yeah. honestly, work smarter, not harder. To be honest, yeah. like it's you're no help to the society if you're in jail yeah. for something stupid. Like you can't help the cause if you're, you know. Yeah, just 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 only be smart. in a, only in like uh yeah. People be smart. aren't actually gonna do that, and I don't think that's a good idea for most places. But if you live in like a small conservative town, and you know. <laughs> you're at risk it might be something to consider i literally wish i had more coffee so fucking bad oh we I, ran out i was just thinking i wish i'd lean in the that so it would dry. taste worse and i could like sip on it it's gone dry the cold brew tap <laughs> <laughs> you want to grab mochi no no because then i take my headphones off oh, that's true um <laughs> shane's so I proud dentist. of mochi because he birthed her he wants to show her my worst dentist experience was... You farted? No. Well, no. But I did... I have farted at school. And if that's like... <laughs> no. That like, no. Okay. Do. No, it has nothing to do with it. But... I farted at school though. That's was. another story. Wait, no. What's the no. fart at school? I it's just that. multiple times in like elementary school, I would never be able to hold a fart. So I'd fart and everyone would know it was me. And it was loud. Gross. And it was terrible. <laughs> And I was the fart kid for the, like the rest of the week, you know, whenever that would happen. <laughs> and that's not a good experience. You would be the then kid you're like, that I would Ew, make fun of. Shane farted. I would make fun of you yeah, bad. Everyone, I'm really glad we didn't did. go to elementary school together. No, everyone just looked at me like one time it was that's like silent. That's literally the worst. We were taking a test <laughs> or like working individually. The room is silent and we're at individual desks and i fart i Why? swear to god 180 everyone looks at me and i'm like i'm like sorry guys that is that's actually my bad. so weird to that's my bad. i couldn't hold the fart there was a girl and once... they wouldn't let you go to the bathroom sometimes yeah because you're in public school they got the whip out yeah there was a girl one this is how mean i was for for reference there was a girl once um who during the mile like because in the states you have the mile test where you have to run 
25 laps around the gym and it's a mile and they get time. Yeah. She ran a... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she, this time, I was such a fucking bitch and a cunt. Uh, she... Okay, the popular boys, obviously, were getting... Uh, sitting on the bench, finishing first. Yeah, try hard. Yeah. She, I was running and stuff. This girl finished a little bit after me but me and my asshole friend we were both assholes sitting on the bench and we noticed she only ran 11 laps because we lapped her a bunch of times and we called her 11 laps for the rest of time <laughs> in middle she school. ran 11 laps and i was like okay that's my mile yeah and we counted because she like how we kept passing her i feel like it was less than 11 no it was no it was six laps six laps. 11 minutes was this girl that was yeah. nothing for 11 minutes and Six laps. Her name was six laps. Out of how many laps? Out of 20 laps. It was like her name was six laps or 25 laps. Six laps was her name. (laughs) From that day forward, she was known as six laps. God, that shit is so fucking horrible. But yeah, see, I would have made fun of you. Yeah, I had like, I I would walk the mile with this other edgy, like kind of stonery kid in middle school. In like Cookie Monster pajama pants. Yes, it was, that vibe. Th- this I the, swear yeah, to God, the vibe of the walkers was like Cookie Monster pajama pants, emo, uh, horse girl, yeah. and the nerd people. That was completely my vibe as well. I was, yeah. I was on that vibe. He looked like he was super lanky and tall, like, and yeah, we were like the only ones like that didn't give a fuck about anything apparently at that point. So <laughs> literally, my <laughs> we just walked a mile <laughs> and. Yeah. Um, one of my really, 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 really good friends. And then, yeah, one of this, the one of the uh, the two thousands goth girls was uh, would walk the mile sometimes too. Like that was such an interesting time. Interesting time because because su- <laughs> subcultures were yeah. so uncool. <laughs> they were. And I genuinely like one of my best friends, uh, who I never would have admitted this, but like we actually, she had the same sense of humor as me, and we got along really well was the weirdest fucking weird, weird, weird girl ever. Like, literally, like, ostracized girl. And I was not brave enough to be her friend out loud. But we... She genuinely made me laugh. Like, and we actually were friends. But I would never tell anyone. I, and I, to this day, I feel horrific about it. And it's just, like, so stupid. <laughs> but you're, like, seven. You don't really know what to do. You just want to be, like... You want to be cool. You don't want to, like, hang out with the girl that's completely weird. Yeah. <laughs> it was, like, picking her nose. But she was so funny. Yeah. And she, like, would make... Whatever. Your dentist story. Um, <laughs> well, on that note, actually, um, I... Oh, my God. Okay, I'm not going to get into that story today. I just... That just reminded me of something. Of, what's the gist? I became, like... There was this really like scary kid that would take the bus and lived on my street, and he was basically a Nazi. Why did you live in like a two thousands movie? No, I swear to God, <laughs> he was he, he was really big. He he like he had a gun and like he was like scary 10? and he was basically a Nazi. But like it, it's like kill or be killed on that bus. I swear to God, Public I was like bus is not a place no, you want to be. No. I swear to God, and in like. In the first year of that, like, middle school, that, like, the eighth graders were, like, so fucking terrible. Like, I saw kids get their fucking ass beat on that bus. That's fucking traumatizing, and though. So, yeah, it's like, you want to, I better join and be nice or, like, try and relate to this person or they know exactly where I live. We get off, we walk to the same street. You know, it's fuck two kids we do live shit to each other. four right? houses apart. And like the Slenderman girls that killed her friend, like like kids can be fucking yeah, evil. That kid was fucking scary. That just made me think. Of no, that. that's um, so so traumatizing. But yeah, and then years later, when I stopped being his friend because I didn't need to be his friend anymore, because I wasn't, you know, I there was no reason. He, he like said he wanted to kill me or something like to what somebody the fuck? or like called me names or something, and I'm like, who? What's his name? Um. Do I, would I know him? Oh, no. You wouldn't know him. Oh. I bet he's doing he's really well He's probably in jail right now. He's probably really um, well adjusted now. I don't know. But, um... <laughs> That's yeah, I don't, scary, I don't Shaner. I don't actually remember his name. I should. It's in the back of my mind. Um, 
But yeah, that was fuck. <laughs> but dentist story. That's why I don't like crime. Yeah. Dentist story. I got my teeth, my two front teeth pulled with no sedation <gasps> at five years old. Um, uh, for reasons I am not entirely clear of. I would have to ask like my mom or something. Because I'm not entirely sure why it happened. But I remember it vividly. I remember the pain. It was fucking... What? Okay. So I'm at the dentist and they're like... The memories, like, because I was so young, the memories are very, like, hazy. So it was, like, they kind of, like, my main dentist, like, the, the kid's dentist I had, like, figured out there was, like, something wrong. Um, and so he, like, suggested to my mom, oh, you should have this, like, you should have this done. Or this, you know, he should have these teeth pulled. Or he should have this done. I don't think the, I was supposed to have my teeth pulled is the thing well why would a five-year-old need his fucking no, teeth pulled? i definitely didn't i and i think that's like insane because my mom was pissed i definitely didn't need my teeth pulled it was something else that i needed done um so my mom brings me to like this um i don't know if it was cheaper if it was within her network but it was like this much like less welcoming to kids like kind of dentist place um they had kids like in and their, i like... just remember feeling like ambush because i didn't know i thought it was just going to be a normal dentist appointment i didn't know i was having like an operation or you know whatever done because i had never had a tooth i'd never had a cavity filled i never had anything done on my teeth dude because i'm five that's not typical and it was like um that i was separated from my mom like they separated me from my mom and i was on this table you were gonna get uh your organs trafficked and i swear to god i started freaking out because Whatever they were doing was like, they started doing something and it was hurting. <clears throat> so I start freaking out. I start flipping out, screaming for my mom because I'm fucking four or five. They separated you from your mom. There's no reason. Yeah, she to was do like that. out in the waiting room or something. I don't know. There's no reason no, for that. No, there's no reason. Um, and so then they decide, oh, we we need to restrain him. So they bring out this blue. I don't know if anyone else has a memory of this. I don't doubt they still can use this, but it was like a blue um, straight jacket, basically. <laughs> what the that fuck? covered my entire body except for my head, um, and like it was literally a straight jacket. Like I couldn't <gasps> move my arms or my legs. I couldn't kick. I couldn't punch. I couldn't like. Um, and they like. They put one of those, uh, like, the vice things that hold your mouth open. They put, like, something like that. What the and fuck? And they pulled my teeth. And it was, like, the worst <gasps> fucking pain. I can just remember it. I was, like, seeing red. They did no sedative. They did no nothing. Because I guess they thought I was young. They could just do it fast and I would be fine. Um, I was at a back alley dentist, clearly. Because I don't know what the fuck. Like, I just remember... The pain, I remember being straight jacketed. What the fuck, and I remember dude. coming out traumatized and my mom screaming at people and being pissed and like calling and being like, oh my God. But and then I had no two front teeth for like probably kindergarten, years. first grade. Yeah, probably like two years. Yeah, until the big ones came in. Does that freak you out though? Because like we watch a lot of horror movies and there's always scenes of like, oh, tooth pulled, you know, or like straight jacket scenes and stuff not like or like just scenes where you're like tied down whatever well thank god you don't have to watch it because i i think that's it's worse when you're watching it when you're actually at the dentist and you're numb and stuff but does like, like does that whatever, bother you because it's like i that doesn't bother me because i never had any experience with that but like that's fucked up it bothers me a little bit i think that's traumatizing dude yeah. that's like insane well i up until like probably four or five years ago i would get dreams of like of course you had night I'd terrors I'd accidentally stuff. pull one of my teeth out or something and it would be hurting and bleeding and, you know, but... Oh my God, they said, let's do it quick. Oh my He's God, young. yeah. That's... Well, the the kind of household, you know, uh, there was a lot of factors with the night but terrors. But that is not but something that, that was, you should have to deal with That was super at traumatizing, all. That's real. Actually. That's like actually insane. No, it's you actually sue. unreal. You could I actually <laughs> blocked it out of my memory until like... Sometimes I'll remember stuff like that. Like, but that was like probably the most traumatic experience I had at that age. Like you, even more than when my like grandfather died. Uh, I was like three, but that's yeah, not that good. was fucked up. That's terrible. Yeah. 
but not as bad as throwing up and getting embarrassed i don't think are you fucking kidding me you didn't i didn't get straight jacketed no, but you were in horrible pain. Okay, but I'm and you 21 were years God. old. I could punch and kick like you, you were seeing God. I was seeing. I was seeing Jaw. I was like Jaw, <laughs> President Trump. Jaw, help me, save me, please. But Shane, that's really bad. That's my only fun dentist story. I think that's not fun. That's like actually American Horror Story. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I wish I remembered it better. I'm gonna have to ask my mom about that because. Like, I know Your I was straight Your mom is so protective, though. though. I feel like she would, like, sue oh, or something. Oh, she was pissed. She was pissed. I'm surprised. His mom is a we no- wouldn't have had the money to sue at that point, though, because His mom is a no-nonsense Boston, Massachusetts mom. Yeah. So you didn't want to really fuck with his mom. Yeah. <laughs> My mom's, yeah. um... Yeah, basically single mom, pretty much, yeah. Like... Oh my god, Shane, I'm just a little bit traumatized about what you just told me. No, it was fucked up, actually. That's fucked up. <laughs> but, but yeah, that was my, uh, I felt like I was in Saw, probably. <laughs> I felt like I was in a Saw trap. Oh my god, that's actually, um, that's how I felt. Oh my god, today I was actually thinking that in the dentist. I was like, this is like a Saw trap. I just need to get through it. Oh my god. <laughs> you were about that. Yeah, you I actually was thinking had that. that. Thought, like, I was thinking that. Yeah, like um, because it was in my head already. Because I was listening to a book, audio book that was really fucked up, like a saw trap, and I stopped listening to it because it was too much. But I was painting the the cabinets in the kitchen, listening to this book, and I was scaring myself, so I just turned it <laughs> off. And then my cat jumped in the fucking where the paint she was and dipped her paint. nose, and then I had to yeah. rub her nose into water for like a minute and a half. On so that little dumbass. Yeah. That's the second incident in the past two days where she's like, the other time um, she like <laughs> Coco vomited like all through the hallway. It was like the most I'd ever seen seen her throw up. I don't know. What I think was she going has a cat night. asthma because she's breathed so heavy. Yeah. Can I tell you something? But she threw up everywhere, and I'm trying to spray it, and the spray bottle's like almost empty, so I kind of got to hold it up. The mist, the Windex, or whatever. And, and Mochi's Mochi, imprinted on us. So Mochi she goes, follows us she everywhere. She does a, the, yeah, she that goes, noise. Huh? And then she jumps right up there and gets like, the Windex finally comes out and it like mists all over her. And I'm like, <laughs> baby. And I'm like, I put her in the sink and I'm rubbing her with Dawn soap for the next 10 minutes. Cause I'm so scared of like anything. Cause she's like, she's so curious. Like she's so imprinted on us. Yeah. Anywhere we go, she's right there. Right so it's this. like, you can't do shit. I can't cook. I need to make sure that she's like far away. So sometimes we get, we get caught slipping and we she gets into some shit. Yeah. But I was going to say about Coco's asthma thing is like, I was doing a book review TikTok like months and months and months ago. And Coco was breathing in the back. <laughs> and someone comments... Oh my god, guys! I don't know if I'm just creeped out by the books, or you can hear that breathing. <laughs> Somebody got scared by yeah, Coco's. But it literally would be scary if you no one was talking about it. Yeah, just the ominous. You can hear her going, like in the back, and I'm talking about cannibalism, and it's like. Yeah, Coke. Talk about mouth breathers. For real, Coco. <laughs> She's just fat though. Um, we're, we're, she's on a diet. We're doing yeah. her best. She's, she's happy though. She's so much better and she's way up. She's here. just, she's, she's so much healthier than she's ever been. So. She's lost some weight since she stopped getting, eating mochi's 24/7 food. 24 yeah. 7 food, also eating mochi's food. <laughs> yeah. The meal times, I think, is good for them. They, people they do get not care there. about our cats' dynamics no, together. They don't. That's like when people talk about their kids. People do it. Don't have, the people that have I don't cats care. get it, though. They oh, yeah. It. So true. The I love hearing dogs, about people's cats. I don't think they get it. But I like dogs. I'm not saying anything against dogs. I'm just we saying, like dogs. We like dogs. It's not the same as having a cat. That's for sure. Because I've had dogs. It's like... A cat is more like a roommate who's slightly yeah. dumb. And then a <laughs> yeah. dog is more like... Uh, like, I don't know how to explain it. Well, a cat, it's like... Like, that's like a roommate. A cat, you gotta so earn smart. its... Like... It's like a treat when Mochi lets us pick her up and like lets us pet her and play with her. <laughs> well, and she doesn't like, doesn't start doing something crazy. She just always is running around she's crazy. Really like she's really energetic. Yeah. But 
like Shane's ever never had like a young cat, so no, he doesn't he didn't ex- really understand how energetic they get. So that's been pretty funny to watch. Oh my god, cutest cats. So true. Yeah. And I tr- I'm trying to get a panther tattoo and memorandum of Mochi. And I'm I, a hater. And he's literally a hater. I'm trying to get a. Okay, it sounds bad, and I all of my all further. of my friends think it's the worst idea ever. I want an American traditional panther on my ribs. <laughs> no, but okay, that doesn't sound that bad. It's not a panther. What she showed me is like this weird from the side, like panther head just a head i think it's american cool. traditional head so you're just gonna have a head sitting right you like, have a head sitting right there. i'm just talking about like that's more like an arm piece in my opinion yeah and plus i thought the art wasn't that good well like for me i i had like surgery when i was really young so i have this gigantic scar on my stomach i know but and it's like i am it does so look that bad I'm so insecure about it though, and I would just rather have something more I distracting on my stomach. Thank you, but I'd rather have something more distracting on my stomach that I could focus on rather than the scar all the time because it's so fucking, like it makes me so insecure. So ugly like, tattoo maybe... and scar. That's gonna be, that's gonna be the ticket. <laughs> I was actually thinking of getting a belly button piercing. But... I'm supportive of the tattoos though. I'm not just a hater. I would like, like... a belly button piercing. Shane, I know you're supportive of the tattoos because I have dumbass tattoos you don't care about. You don't really think that. But I was thinking of getting a belly button piercing, but I I'm really, really, really scared of the pain of that. But oh, that would be fine. That would be nothing compared to what you went through tonight. But my belly button is so sensitive, dude. Oh, oh yeah. And it, oh, it goes to the meat. And my septum piercing, I would not do again. That shit is fucking well, so he painful. fucked you up. He gave me a cartilage piercing, yeah, basically. pretty much. So I got a cartilage septum piercing. I can never stretch it. And it squeaks when I move it around, by the way. Yeah, my piercing got ripped out like three times and they had to put it back in. It healed like a dream though. Yeah, I don't know how. Your your like face, he was on Accutane and his face just heals like he in one day. He has like, it's like airbrush. You look like a K-pop Well, it didn't picture. used to. When you're on Accutane, you get like keloid scars that don't ever heal. Sometimes. We're the Accutane brothers. Well, if we're, they're deep enough. We're both is. infertile from Accutane probably. Yeah. When... <laughs> that's a win <laughs> that's a win for me <laughs> so yeah the, everyone's like um what's your skincare routine i'm like hardcore drugs that gave me horrible joint pain and cracked lips you had a nerve my like, eye was red for two months you had nerve pain in your I have nerve that damage was like you couldn't even that was terrible but you pretty but, hurts you know what pretty no pain no gain hurts. no pain no gain as they say I only sang twice in the whole episode. That's probably enough. They love your singing. I think they love your singing. I think that's a hit. They is like two people. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be more than two. We were thinking about um, a boat. A boat. Um, we what got, oh, to yeah, make yeah. the episode about. And we're just we're rolling, we're just rolling today. I... I feel like we needed to return to our roots because we used to just riff more. Okay, but... We've been doing more focused episodes, but... Yeah, literally at this point, like, we because we have a lot of um, ideas of things, but it's like, we don't know what people actually are interested in because (laughs) we want to talk about things like, I want to talk about succession. I want to talk about severance. Yeah. I want to talk about um, the the X trilogy. I'm going to spew oh, yeah. chunks about in a little bit i'm gonna eat i'm gonna feast out. i'm gonna lick my lips i'm gonna go four times in the theater <laughs> i'm going to freak i'm gonna pussy boss i'm so excited but like i want to talk about certain media but like i don't know what people actually are interested in because yeah. i don't know what people do anymore <laughs> well we can do you like... can blind react to jojo siwa's yeah. new song oh we gotta do that but um <sighs> We will be uploading more consistently soon. Like it's okay, it it's will been be better. really inconsistent because for me it's the end of this like the school semester, so I've been extra busy, and Liberty's busy all the time. I'm so. always fucking busy. And we had to deal with some paperwork bullshit. And, now it's you know, done, but, but we had done. We, we like, got a lot of stuff off our plate. Long story short, it was law. It was the law because I fought the law on the law one. 
Yeah. I'm just going to say, I'm not going to say anything more other than that. And I won't say anything more, but we got some plans too for not only like, like you know, for the, for the podcast, like we want to do something yeah we have uh, some ideas to connect everyone like uh, we want to do like a physical kind of uh thing for the end of the year which is a ways off but that's in the that's in the planning mm -hmm. and we want to we're going to collab on a creative project i think this summer that's so. gonna actually like it's like this is so dumb but it's we are going to make people so upset <laughs> like <laughs> well, that sounds ominous like we're going to collaborate on a creative project that we can't i can't tell you or have to kill you we're not gonna yeah we're but, not gonna talk about it yeah but it's literally fruits. going to be so cool but it's you're gonna be very scared yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be very scared yeah. but that's my favorite feeling mm -hmm. um but yeah that's the future of uh that's the future of the community. If I don't die from my nerve damage yeah. by then. I don't know what happened there. Has your leg been fine? I, I was painting and like I was painting the cabinets and it started flaring up and I went, Whoosh! I went, shut you the, it I, I, I said, no, <laughs> you're not. Okay. I was literally from my I nerve pain. I swear that she never cries from pain. I'm I've such... never, I've never seen it. Like, here's the thing. I've known her for too many years. <laughs> and it's like Feel i've seen change. her cry from pain probably three times this being one of them and one of them she got hit by a car so that was hilarious that you earned you earned a cry on that one and like she has like a high pain tolerance and Thanks. it's like well it's like it's wor it's worthy of note because like i feel like you know for me it's like i wouldn't think i don't think I've cried from pain very much, but like, I know I I've have. never seen you cry from pain though. Yeah. Well, I always like, if I really need to, like, I'm not going <laughs> to let anyone see. I'm going to go over, like somewhere else. Well, I tried to do that when I was having my nerve damage. <laughs> I, I, I got out of, out of bed and I went to the, to the living room to start crying. Yeah. Cause I was like, I don't know what happened to my leg. It just started going haunted. Yeah. There was like pain <laughs> shooting up her entire leg. And I had then a she starts leg. being like, um, I literally had a zombie leg. Day that I had a night of the living dead leg. She starts like no being evil like, dead leg. I start being like offering her like, can I get you a Motrin? Can I get you Biofreeze? Like we should put some ice on it and elevate it. And she's like, you liberal, I don't need your <laughs> holistic uh, bullshit. I'm a true red blooded American because and I'm gonna get through. And she's like being like an anti vaxxer about me trying to help her. She's like, that's not gonna work actually because everything that touched my leg was awfully painful no, I my, my sock that. hurt so just I, you were acting so tough and you were like that's bullshit shane that's never gonna work it was night of the living dead <laughs> leg but guess what worked the motrin and the biofreeze it yeah worked. what the fuck is biofreeze he just started digging rummaging around in our fucking bathroom and he brings she out this know weird thing yeah. and what why did you get that in I, the first place? i was running? having like um like i i don't know it's just good for like general muscle soreness and stuff can i put, I on my, can I put it soreness. on my um penis and balls yeah i think you can um <laughs> uh results may vary <laughs> what, if, uh, <laughs> what if you took your shirt off and like your nipples were really red and like what's wrong with your nipples you're like oh i put some bio <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'm just addicted to putting bio And some on your lips, too. Your lips are red. You're yeah. like, it's just for it to go out. Yeah, I'm just addicted to applying biofreeze in it's like plumping. strange areas. I, um... Because it's like, that one is like a roller ball. <laughs> so it's like really... You can't just squirt some out. You got to like roll it on there. Yeah, it's a roller. Um, I was... I like to watch so many movies and stuff because I'm obsessed with media analysis. Like, I literally love it. So I love to watch stupid movies. So today I was working and I was watching The Other Woman with Cameron Diaz. And it's like a rom-com. It was mildly entertaining and it was pretty good. It's also comforting. 2000s rom-coms are really comforting to me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there's this scene where her husband's cheating on her. So she's trying to get revenge. So she puts estrogen in his smoothies, right? To try and get him to grow man boobs or whatever. 
Why? But because he's cheating on her. Oh, okay. But there's a scene where he's wearing this prosthetic that you cannot tell is a prosthetic. It's it so it's looks like seamless. He it's seamless. No, but it's like it's like a regular. He's dude. got a full rack. No, it's regular pecs and stuff, but just these engorged, floppy, long nipples. And I was like, Oh my what god! The fuck? No, that's what the fuck? Up. What the fuck? I was really like, in like they went completely all the way. I don't know how they did that, and they kept touching them. It was like so... that's more fucked up than I could imagine. I know. I'm watching to this just movie. make the nipples really big and long. Yeah, and fat. <gasps> it was crazy. It was actually insane. That's out of the box. And I was working, and I'm like, I commend that actually. And I'm like, yeah, it was really funny, but like also really, really, like not. It didn't look. It was a prosthetic, but it looked extremely real. It was pretty jarring. Because the whole movie was like really like, we're just girls. We're living and we're loving in New York. Wherever they are. (laughs) (laughs) And then we were watching 40-Year-Old Virgin today as well. And that was, so far, it's really funny. Yeah. I don't remember that movie. I don't remember that movie. Just, uh... We're we like Judd Apatow, so yeah. Our like, one of our favorite we'll series is Judd chance. Apatow. We'll remember so. it. Yeah, love. We talked about. Obviously, it has some sensitivity issues. Geeks, that's my. She, she doesn't. You don't ever like to rewatch that. I like it, but I don't like to rewatch it. I don't know why it's too. Okay, this is actually insufferable of me. Like no, I know me. this, but when something is made too much for me, or too much in my genre. I don't want to watch it. And I don't give a fuck. That's how I feel about Freaks and Geeks. That's how I feel about Scott Pilgrim. I don't know. I just, I'm such a contrarian. It's like a character flaw. It's like if it's too catered towards me, I don't want to, I don't <clears> care. <throat> that might, that may be why we put San Junipero so low, guys. It may well as we well be. We know it's popular. It may We're as like, well be. Fuck the popular. No, fuck no, no. being popular. I like, I like, I like. <laughs> I, I like know. it. <laughs> we like a lot of popular stuff. Yeah. I like in utero the best. No, I actually like um never mind in the utero best. Is the best. I like never mind the best. That's like the default. <laughs> Sorry, it that's the best like song. Spirit. And it's about that's the best song of all time. <laughs> no, right? like it's it. not. I would say Okay, what's your favorite Nirvana songs? Serve the servants. Um, don't agree. Agree. I agree. Because it's my choice. You don't have to say. <laughs> if I asked you for a list and you said something, I wouldn't chime in. Don't agree. Because it's wrong. Basically. How do we know if that's still going? Is I'm it watching good? it and people probably notice this. I, I continue to watch it because there's a little red dot and it means recording. Okay. It's new technology. It's hopefully it looks better. But I tweaked with the camera a little bit. He, he twiddled with it. I twiddled it. he he twerked on it okay he was doing this thing where he was looking up online how to make it look the best and so he had me hold up a piece like go and hold up this piece of paper in front of the camera and i'm white balance but i'm doing it like in 70s porno mag style oh yeah to try and make him laugh and he's such a fucking dude like dudes have one singular output when it comes to like focusing they <laughs> literally can't do two things at once so i'm doing these in this insane poses and trying to make him laugh i didn't even notice in this fucking stupid I was too outfit focused i'm on the little camera settings i was like and it's like uncomfortable because i'm like I was overalls, gizmoing. and you're gizmoing and i'm like why are you not laughing at me it was pissing me off like i was, I was literally was i was i was it was so funny and i wish that i could make myself laugh because <laughs> I was all busy at that Whatever. Um, but what were you talking about? Your favorite Nirvana songs? Oh, yeah. Definitely Serve the Servants, I think, is number one. I like a lot of the outtakes. I love when you touch that book with your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fidgeter. He's, he's fiddling with um, my the $50 art book we got. Let me... Uh... Let's actually quick plug. It's um Cave it was $50. Girl. Yeah, it's Cave Girl Monologues by um what's her name again? Heather um yeah, it's Heather Benjamin. It's got coffee. She, no, that's the smoke from the that's the smoke from that burning rose. Oh, it's so textured. Are you sure? One hundred percent sure. That's so sick. I never noticed but, that. But um but you can't show that boots. on camera. Oh. 
I won't show the boobs, guys. It's got some boobs. You gotta buy it for the boobs. But her art style very much influenced my own. It it's made really... me basically do a 360 because I realized that fun looking art can also be metaphorically rich. And that was like new for me because yeah. I I rocked only with hyper realism because I thought that was the only way to be taken seriously. But like Heather Benjamin just proved me wrong. Yeah, it totally changed. It changed I think, everything. everything. And it, we were just like in a in the record store i don't know what she's doing what the fuck is she doing dude or she was like she was like okay what are you saying um but we were just in the record store and we found that randomly in like the the books the small little like book and magazine section and we're like we need this <laughs> we never would never buy something like that but no because we, like, we this, would just yeah we have a once in a lifetime opportunity we need this because it's amazing and we got it. We cop. We copped that. We copped that. I don't like we copped that. How funny would it be if we just turned into a reaction channel, like, and we just sat there and watched something and, we just and didn't like? Did you see that? And we just did. You see that? Wow. And just looked at the video. Yeah, and just you just play, watch play it. Play a cut video. That's essentially Cody Co channel these days. Don't even get me started on that <laughs> shit. That's insane. I'm literally. Noel was like, the, okay. Noel was the heart and soul. I'm going to break the you fourth gotta... wall and tell you guys the YouTubers that I actually watch, like, because this is going to make you laugh. Okay. Number one. <laughs> and we're pretty much on the same page. We're on here. the same page because yeah. I send him whatever. Number one, psychology in Seattle. It's a, oh, yeah. it's a registered therapist yeah. who reviews reality TV shows and, ta and, and heavily psychoanalyzes every single character for two hours straight. Of and there's like blind. of love is blind of 90 day fiance. He does uh, Andrew Tate and that one. <laughs> it's like he reads people scientifically. Like yeah. he reads them in a way that he you cannot reads. deny. He soul reads yeah. people. And it, it'll be like a 20 second, like, like Clip. one person <laughs> yeah. will say two sentences and he'll be like, and he'll spend an entire 20 minute episode on it. He's saying like they saw their mom die in a Dexter fashion and <laughs> possibly, I don't well, know. Possibly, I'm not making any diagnosis. I'm, I'm not speculating but, because the show is dramatized, but he reads people to filth, yeah. <laughs> read, read to filth. So psychology in Seattle, yeah. I don't know what his name is, but he's like, he does love it. Just look up. He's love is blind. Don't attack Whoa. Coco. You're rude. <laughs> No. Coco went for a strike. Coco said, "Fuck off." Yeah, dude. she did. So Coco number likes her space. One thing about her. <laughs> number two <laughs> is um I I think that um Hunter from Meat Canyon is my favorite YouTuber. So that's two random dudes. Yeah, random but dudes. he is a podcast with Noel called Stretch and Fade. That's my favorite oh, it's podcast. So funny. Th those two are my that's my favorite. They are the funniest. They're the funniest. Um, and then I watch, uh, JCS, Criminal Psychology. I wish they make more. JCS, where, where are you? But then I you make, gotta go to the off-brand. It's, like, yeah, the explore it's like you with gotta us. go get, like, fentanyl JCS. Exactly. Like, it's like, like I watch the JCS. Explore With Us ones where, yeah, like... they're not as good. He they talk, don't hit the He same. talks like sub Burger King foot fungus. Yeah. And I'm like, it's not as... J JCS is the And JCS, like, his voice psychology. is so calming, but he's like... He gets into it. And he reads as them soon too. as you hear his voice, yeah. <laughs> you're into it. And he reads them yes. so hard. And he says, that fucking loser out of nowhere. Like he's yeah. like reading them yeah. scientifically. He says, yeah, that's a fucking loser. And he gives random facts. Yeah. Like, like the police, uh, were not supposed to do that. Yeah. That's not something <laughs> yeah. they were supposed yeah. to do. The fact that that is actual content. Like the fact that he goes through and puts subtitles onto, onto like those, like, Interviews, interrogation interrogations videos, and then yeah. he like actually reads it all to filth is insane and then l lastly um another one that i th like this is for some reason only one woman on this list i do listen to like i listen to a lot of women horror reviewers like yeah. um possessed by horror i really like but i also listen to um <laughs> if i want to get like really dark with it nyx fears she does like she's a um like a very scary book author like she creates like slaughterpunk gore books but she also does like these disturbing breakdown icebergs that are really riveting but they're really dark so i don't really recommend it but i listen to mike spheres and possessed by horror for women i think that's not a really good you lineup. do uh you do like what's it called um <laughs> 
Fundy. Oh my God! Yeah, Fundy Fridays with um with Jess. I see why. And her husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she breaks down Christian fundamentalism. Yeah. And I pro- that's actually probably I watch her just as much as me. Can't even know all. I just yeah. forgot. So that's my YouTubers. Yeah. Do you have a YouTubers? For me, it's more like random content. Whatever I'm looking for, mm-hmm. like at the moment, like too many like random like uh you know there's like if you're into music like i watch like there's too many lists but i like like to see people like there's some a series called like bad gear where he finds like you know like stuff from like the 70s and 80s like synthesizers and stuff that is pretty shitty and i don't know just random stuff like that and yeah a lot of the stuff you mentioned really I mean, I still watch, like... We pretty much watch the same stuff. I still watch... There's, like, some other, like, kind of Cody Co-esque channels, but I wouldn't know their names right no now. No one That's talks That's why it's about... hard for me, because I don't remember a lot of yeah, names. Yeah, me but, too. I'm on... The, like, like, I probably just watch I know this one more. guy. I'm picturing him with the mullet, but I don't remember his name. Does he have the mustache, too? Um... Because he just... I think that, that guy just did a sick video about the AirPod on the face. Yeah, I've, I do watch that guy, but there's another one who he, like... I don't know. His background is like paintings and he's got like, he wears pearls. He's just Cody, but like he does the Cody content. That oh, Cody is it used Curtis? No, like Curtis. Similar, yeah. I don't, Curtis needs to make more, make more, I think. But For yeah, me, I do watch a, him. It's like those type of vain yeah. people I watch. Um, it just like no one Sometimes I'll watch about... political stuff. Uh-huh. Um, you know, but that's it. <laughs> like, no one talks about what YouTubers they watch, but it's like, for because for some reason it's like nobody wants to say. It's like your house. On it's YouTube. like your it's yeah. like your little house. Your little house. But it is like because it is more of the comforting kind of almost parasocial yeah. thing where like like I watched this one guy eat Chipotle every day for thirty days, and I was in it with him. Random dude. I think that the video got like a thousand likes. <laughs> what? I was just in it. I was like, I'm going to watch. And I'm cooking, whatever. I feel like I literally like, it's like You're human connection. I'm yeah, there yeah, with him. I get it. This, actually, if I could recommend one YouTube video in the whole entire world right now, there's this one dude who, if you just look up, um, Air, I, what is it? The, what's the AirPod lens thing? Go, like, is it Apple Vision? Um, uh, yeah, it is Apple Vision. If you look up Apple Vision, it'll be the first one to come up because it's like a million views. It's but like... he made a video about that and he bought them and it's uh, so good. His last name good. starts with a B, right? It's like... It's so... It's such like, a good video. He's like, why did Apple create this fucking... $1,000 mon- nightmare. $3,000 yeah. monstrosity or something. Yeah, that's a good it's video. It's a fucking banger. It's it's the best YouTube video yeah. I've seen in a really long time. Like, it, it ends on a note that's like so profound bone chilling. I love it. I love when people critique stuff yeah. that, in like a really good way. Yeah, that's why like, I don't know. I watch like, you know, uh, political commentary too, just because, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> Me too, yeah. I know you're like usually not interested in that kind of stuff because it can be very overwhelming, but sometimes it's nice to just be... Um, you know, because I don't know a lot of like, uh, you know, most people don't have like a knowledge of leftism and that's OK. You know, that's not bad. But I like to feel like um, you're not alone. like I'm not alone. And like, you know, <laughs> I'm not the only one feeling like the same, you know, about about stuff, you know. Well, I don't know, like how people consume content of people that are not obviously left leaning. Because I feel like uncomfortable when I watch stuff like about what? people that are conservative. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know like, what you mean. Yeah. Like everyone that I watch online or consume their content, yeah. I know that they have the same general values as yeah, me. Yeah. hundred percent. Like, because you can tell, but I just don't know how people are like, I don't know. Like if, okay, even if an influencer that I, that I like a lot starts becoming like too capitalist, I just can't watch them anymore. And yeah. I just get so sick of it. I'm like, fuck that then. It's just like... <laughs> Well, the thing is, I think it's become so divided where it's like, um, it's like that kind of content where it's kind of more, I guess it's kind of the new normal. It's like more normal people. And then there's the other side where it's like, maybe that's normal for them, but it's like, 
a lot of like conservatives say, oh, you selling your soul to Hollywood. But I feel like selling your soul is doing like conservative comedy and like. That's way, like way worse. Just yeah. the brain rot stuff over on the other side. Like, I feel like that is what selling your soul looks like. Oh, yeah. Have you seen like the um, like the hate bait, rage bait yeah. content that people make on Facebook? And it's like it gets that money, but it's like you're totally like. What are you doing for no. society? Like you're actually there was a, selling your soul. Like there was insane. a guy on YouTube who was like a like a spiritual like kind of guru guy. I never watched him, but I kind of watched. I don't remember the name of the. Video oh, Channel doc. Five is really good too. Channel Five. Channel Five. Yeah, we talk Channel about five that live. all the time. Though. We talk about that all the <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah. Okay. But there, I, there was like a YouTube uh, like documentary kind of about it. But like he used to do videos about like, you know, making fun of like doing like satire of like flat earth people. And now he just like content farms that because so many people took the flat earth, he him doing a skit parody, people took it seriously. That's insane. And people like got like, oh my God, he's making so much sense. He's like totally, That's he knows insane. the theories. He knows the theories, guys. And now he just farms that kind Have of Have you content. seen that flat earth meme where it's like lunar eclipse of the flat earth and it's like like it goes across like a line of the sun oh my i don't even know i can't okay, but fathom what you're talking about like because the lunar eclipse well i guess it would be a solar eclipse instead of lunar eclipse but like it doesn't the earth's shadow go in front of the sun for a second mm -hmm. there's like a meme where it's like flat earth solar eclipse and it's like the <laughs> it's like it's a sliver that goes across because it's like duh do you think it's a screen in the air yeah, I don't want to talk about it flat earthers, but yeah, what the What fuck? I don't understand is, okay, if I don't think anybody actually knows anybody that thinks the earth is flat, but... It's more like a counterculture thing, in my opinion. If you look at a globe, like... I would need an actual globe to do the example, but the way they fly planes across the globe is not like straight across the way it looks, um... The way it looks like it's the closest, but they go like around in a circle. Like if you're going point A to point B on a globe, they're not just going to go straight across because that would be wrapping around long. They're going to go like that way. And it's much like it is like a. I cannot believe how little logic people have that they think the earth is just a flat. No, people of, don't have logic of, in general, though. I know. It's just it's really bad. I sound like a fucking prick saying that, but it's actually unfathomable <laughs> to me that people could think the earth is flat. Shane, <laughs> yesterday, everyone probably saw this, but there was a, a TikTok of a girl that was pissed the fuck off, a religious girl, because there was a Baphomet build a bear. Like the build a bear was I Baphomet. I would buy that. I okay. love Baphomet. But it was AI generated. Oh. It's not real. The Build-A-Bear logo had fucking AI sh squiggles Scramble. in it. Yeah. And it was like the employees next to the Baphomet bear, Baphomet pentagram bear. And she was going the fuck off on it on, in, on TikTok saying, this is the end times. Like literally t for 10 minutes screaming. And the comments were like, you're so smart. Because they were joking with her. But like, how dumb are you that you don't see obvious AI that's like, I, it's going to get yeah, harder to tell. Baphomet as a symbol is not even inherently demonic. If you know the symbols, <laughs> I'm not like going to get into an occult thing. But but um, that's, it was just really funny. Because yeah. like people do not think at all about what the, like every time you're online, you should be thinking, someone is probably trying to sell me something or convince yeah. me of something every time I watch something. Like, and most people do not care about your well-being yeah. <laughs> at all. So, oh my God. Like that one girl that drinks that says that she only eats butter is not just eating butter. Like that's I don't think she could still be alive. She would be dead probably. So that's definitely not true. I feel like <laughs> or the freely that used to pretend she ate fifteen hundred bananas a day. I feel like if you just ate butter, you would just expand and then like pop like a balloon one day. Cause like it's got nothing like you read that to for your body to use. I feel like I don't know. That would be my first thought. That's how I feel when I eat that frozen kale from Walmart. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Like I get that rag of frozen kale and I use it and I'm like, I'm so fucking bloated. Oh yeah, that's true. No, but you can't just eat butter and meat. Like you're going to die. You know what I don't like? What? I don't like needing GPS. 
Fuck, but I know. Am I, gonna, I feel like such a loser. You know what? Am I going to read a map, though? No, no. I'm not. If I'm I, lost. Shane, I could not read a map if I was lost. Because, you know, when I took you to the dentist today, I had to take a poo really bad. <laughs> and I my phone died. And I'm like, fucked. And I'm like, what am I going to do? I got scared. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't even have a map. So if I could use a map... In this case, like, I don't even have one. And it's like, Could you use one, though, if you needed to? Because I couldn't. Because you just can't possibly. It's one thing if you live in a small town, but you can't just possibly know your way around everywhere. Maybe some people's brains work like that, but me, I'm so directionally bad that I cannot figure that out. It was like, I just followed the main road until I saw, like, some coffee shops and stuff. I'm weirdly great at driving directions. I, I can know where I am pretty much at all times in Vancouver. I've been here for three years. I could probably get home from UBC home. I could probably get home. Be, but just because I am memorizing. Well, yeah. If you not can figure streets, out what direction you're going. Not then, the streets yeah. though. The fucking, the store names and the and the design of all this shit is how I remember. Oh, I that's don't, how you do it? Yes. I, I think th about direction. Like what, I think about I need visually to be going, what it looks like. I need to be going east is what I think. Like If you said go east, I would go into the ceiling. I'd like <laughs> go hereditary mom and I'd float up into the ceiling. I would not know what to do at all. <laughs> not even little. Go east. Where the fuck is east? Actually, I could probably navigate with a compass. but With a... What does that even... Because I know where... If I... Because I knew where UBC is in relation to our house. I know nothing about the relation, but I know physically the landmarks of how to get yeah, home. I don't, I'm, I don't, like, I'm like a gatherer. I, yeah, you do. I don't do that. For some reason, I can't do that. You could take. You would take that billionaire submarine if you could around because you know like the GPS. Doop, doop, doop. <laughs> yeah. I would take... My method of transportation yeah. would be um, a basket of berries to hold. <laughs> How is that going to transport you? It, it gives me nutrients for my walk. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, something is deep inside of me telling me um, it's better than, I need uh, a tote bag when I go for a walk because I need to gather. Yeah. Even when I'm not going anywhere. It's the primal urge. But also, it's really embarrassing to me to like walk around with no bag because I feel like people know that I'm just walking aimlessly around if I walk like that and I look like, I feel like blame. No, you see... You, we saw we a guy, saw a guy the other day. We saw a guy the other day with shorts and like a t-shirt, and it was cold. It was weird. But he, you're like, <laughs> he's just raw dogging it. Look at him, no bag, no nothing, shorts, can't nothing no, in his pockets, no keys. You're not giving the full the full vision of him. Yeah. He was wearing the tightest white t-shirt as you could see his nipples. Yeah, it's guys. literally thirty degrees outside. It's cold. Yeah. He's wearing the tightest white t-shirt. No, I think he's wearing skinny jeans or maybe it was skinny shorts. It was shorts. skinny jeans or skinny shorts, something And tight. runners and bald. Yeah. So like he had, he was boneless. He was raw. He was. <laughs> <laughs> Where was his phone or his keys? Literally like there was no pocket. Like there was nothing. To, he had nothing on him. Just like the fart behind his back. <laughs> I wish dream. I could just do that. Like actually yeah. I need my phone. I need my keys. I need to check out my cat on the camera. I wish yeah. I could just go totally free naked Burning Man. <laughs> Only time I feel like that is if I'm at the movies and you're home. Yeah. Because I'm like, Shane can take care of it. I'm at the movies. I'm I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, everyone's talking about that eclipse today. Luckily... In our city, it's you can't even see the sky, so that's really nice. Good for everyone that you guys got an eclipse today. For us, it's just gray sky. <laughs> we missed the last eclipse because we were eating. Yeah, we were eating Cheetos. We were we were sitting waiting for the eclipse to happen, and we were I was reaching down into the bag, and it went dark for one second, and then by the time I looked up, it was gone. I was yeah. picking up a chip. I don't know what I was doing, but I know I didn't see it either. We had the glasses and everything. Yeah. Well, happy do we want to do Jojo? Oh, it's going to give me the, a fucking headache. We can I'm save it. We can save it. I might. We should do an episode. What's going on? It gives feedback whenever you Okay, go maybe. Phone. Hello. Oh, my phone. Yeah. Okay. Next episode, we'll do a re-reaction a re to the Maxine trailer as a 
after we do the Jojo Siwa, so it's a little bit of a palate cleanser. But yeah. first thing first, first. And I kind of just let, skimmed it too. I, I just skimmed it. I didn't it. watch the full I didn't, thing. I didn't pause it. I didn't investigate because yeah. I don't actually like to watch trailers, but yeah. I don't think I'm going to get surprised, so it's fine. Yeah. I don't usually watch trailers. I think it's like actually ruins the experience for me, but this is different. So yeah, next episode, like, we'll do that. This is like the Messiah cometh. Like, this is so This is good. literally my Messiah. I can't wait for this movie. It's been so long, it feels like. I know Pearl wasn't that long ago, but... Ty West is actually I see this. a girl. He's one of the girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually am Ty West, Ghost Rider. Yeah. <laughs> I would believe that he was like a random ghostwriter dude because it's too good but i watched house of the devil and he's definitely been building this style for a while so and we watched cabin fever too <laughs> that shit is actually that movie was just gross weirdly i liked it cabin I'm... fever one was better though obviously cabin fever one's a classic yeah. but like there's a scene in cabin fever 2 where he gets the fleshing disease on his on his pp and oh yeah that was fucked up it's like you couldn't really do X or Pearl without the gore that they had in Cabin Fever 2, though, because they were, like, dipping their toe into the water and how yeah. gross it can get. Like, mm -hmm. they needed that for the old people shit and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they did. They just needed it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's all I got. Yeah, we can wrap. We can wrap. That was, uh... Moshi's looking directly at the window and it's scaring the fuck out of me. What is she looking at? She likes to let her look outside. She's curious. She can see in the night. Yeah, they can. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I don't know what we're going to title this one. Dentist Crisis? I was just thinking today also when I was watching YouTube. You do the naming. I do that. I do. <laughs> um, but I was watching YouTube and I was thinking, I will never get sponsored by HelloFresh because I think that it's literally like a We've plague. already shit talked it into a plague. It's a plague too. on our society. I it, know. It literally. It. So. It takes away so much soon. of like your human connection of going to the grocery store, picking up local produce, chopping it, learning a skill how to cook. It's like capitalism inventing a problem. It's so fucking annoying. Anyway. Yeah, and you're just getting like the shittiest shit. The ball stuff the grocery store is trying to sell. Literally, off and it's throw like away. too good to go, but extra steps. Yeah, it is. Okay. Good night, guys. You better rock. <laughs> Peace and love. Peace and love upon all your families. That's nice. And don't forget to put the sacrificial lamb's blood on your door or else I will kill your firstborn yeah. son. And if you go to the dentist. Do no not damn. go to the dentist. Do not get the damn. <laughs> don't go to the dentist. <laughs> don't throw up. Hello. There's Say bye. finally Mochi. Say bye, here. Momochi. Say finally, bye, you're Momochi. here. Do you have any words? Any words she of doesn't encouragement? She does she doesn't meow. No, she she goes, only goes and goes. Okay. Oh. oh. There she goes. Okay, bye. Peace. Peace and love. <laughs>